Today's big blind media free trick comes from my friend Jack Ty. Uh, he doesn't know it yet, but I've appropriated one of his classics to appear here. Let's have a quick look at it. Uh, I'm going to remove a couple of prediction cards. I've got three, which we're going to place down here, and uh, we'll come back to those a bit later. And uh, we're also going to have a card chosen. I mean, as I cut through the cards like this, call stop. Stop. Exactly here. Exactly. You're absolutely sure. All right. Uh, let's see what card you got. Uh, you got the Jack of Diamonds. Are you quite happy with that? I love it. Excellent. That's always uh, reassuring to hear. Uh, let's lose that back into the pack with a couple of cuts. And uh, I think you'll find that the prediction cards reveal your card perfectly. Uh, let's have a look. Would you agree that that completely reveals your card? No. You wouldn't, really? Well, look, it spells Jack. J-A-K. Jack means you must have picked a Jack, is that right? Yes, that is right. Yeah, all right, awesome. Also, there's a heart, a club, and a spade, but no diamonds, so you must have picked the Jack of Diamonds. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Right, smart ass. Hey, see? Um, all right, but you're, I can see that you're not impressed because we haven't actually produced the card. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Jack of Hearts and we're going to trap it in between the other two cards here, the Ace and the King. Uh, but we're going to trap it so it's reversed. All right, and all we're going to do is give the packet a little twist like this and it instantly changes the Jack of Hearts into your card, the Jack of Diamonds. And with a little click, changes all of them into the remaining Jacks. So welcome back to Big Blind Media TV, and it's competition time. That time where buying stuff sucks, so you get stuff for free. <laughs> I was excited. That was my excited leg limb. Well, it, I, it was. It was uh, nearly kicks me in the face. That would well, have been quite awesome telly. <laughs> these things will happen. <laughs> now, so what can you win, Liam, this week? Uh, well, this time you can win. Uh, we're going to have two winners that each win a deck of Carnival uh, Beard Flaps. <laughs> Carnival Death Heads, which are our brand new deck. And um, they are 100% plastic, so these are tough bastard cards. They are ninjas. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're performing in a pub and you stick them in a pile of beer or whatever. These laugh at beer, whereas your car, your bicycle deck will just curl into a you know a slushy type. Yeah, of and, you board. know we've got to be honest. We actually have rigorously tested these, haven't we? Um, we have. Yeah. They cannot right. be destroyed. We put them in acid. Nothing. Set right. fire to them. Nothing. Uh, we've Nuclear found, holocaust, yeah, no nothing, problem. no, 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 big deal. Some guy we gave him to, he, he ate them, swallowed them, excreted them, and that's one of the decks you could win. <laughs> this is the excreta deck. <laughs> and uh, how do they win? Well, Liam, you tell them. Well, all you have to do is to record a little video of you performing a trick, any card trick you like. You know, maybe a favourite one, maybe something you're working on, whatever and post it onto our Facebook wall on uh, www.facebook.com slash bigblindmedia. And uh, if you use carnival cards, that might give you an extra chance of winning. I don't know. Um, but check it out. We're going to pick two winners, and you're going to get a free deck of cards. You're not going to need more than one deck after you get these, because they will literally last you forever. Even if you eat them and poo them out. Hi there, Owen and Liam here, and uh, we have a new section of BBM TV for you. Uh, we want to take magic and move it forward. That's the vibe we've got here. And we want to take it somewhere extreme. And so, as such, over the last couple of years, we've been quietly beavering away in our workshops. That's uh, right, he said beavering. I did. Um, and we've come up with what we think are possibly the most exciting advancements in magic in generations. Now, Liam hasn't been party to a lot of this, so he's going to be uh, here to witness it with you guys. I'm um, as worried as the rest of you. So, yeah, for this <laughs> week's show, I am going to show you what we call Invisible Thread Extreme. This stuff is going to take Invisible Thread to the next level like you have never... You will not believe what you can do with this stuff. Um, so, uh, okay, wait there. Let's rig it up. Let's show you. Invisible Thread Extreme. <laughs> So here we are, uh, back from the workshop with the Invisible Thread Extreme. What? You keep looking at me funny. It's like... <laughs> right. So, um, as you can see, Liam, I've taken off my wedding ring. You have. Um, and incredibly, you'll find if I place it in my hand, it will suddenly start to levitate. Well, look, that is quite look something. At that. Look at it. 
<laughs> just pretty amazing. But the thing about Invisible Thread Extreme is it can actually do more than that. Um, what you'll find, if you just uh, bear with me while I re-rig. <laughs> the reset on it seemed quite, you know, sensible, uh, which we're happy about. And uh... Now, Liam, <laughs> see, I've got a roll of now, normal Invisible Thread. Could you use... Seriously, could you use that much weight on Invisible no, Thread? No, I don't, I don't think you could, no. No, it would it'd break, innit? And that's the problem. Do you, have, do you have more things you're planning to levitate? Or is, are you stopping here? Or <laughs> Well, I don't know. I'm just going to see. I mean, you know, the work we've done in the workshop has, has shown us that the tensile strength of this Invisible Thread is enough to take this kind of weight. So if I just place it upon my hand like so. Watch this. Look at that. It's just unbelievable. It is. And if I just no sticky stuff, no sticky. St look at that! Look at that! It's just floating between us, Liam. But wait a minute! Can I put my hands? Oh, I can! Oh my god! Isn't it amazing? <laughs> what? Stop laughing! Oh, I'm sorry. So uh, yeah. yeah, and there you have it. That is Invisible Thread Extreme, uh, one of the new range of Big Blind Media products coming to a shop near you soon. It's all caught in your beard. So here's the explanation for uh, this trick uh, from my good buddy Jack Ty. A preemptive thank you. He doesn't know it's on here yet, uh, but boy, he will. Um, and we're going to teach you how to do it. It's a very, very cool trick. Um, first of all, the cards you remove for your predictions are these. Uh, just use these three for now. You'll see how you can adapt it as you go on, but just use the Jack Hearts, Ace of Clubs, and King of Spades. And as you do that, as you remove those from the pack, you arrange the other three jacks on top of the deck with the false card, the Jack of Diamonds, third from top. All right, or well, this is, you know, just the most efficient handling, I think. So that sits on top of the deck, and you're ready to rock and roll. Those are tabled face down. You now need to false uh, the top card, or basically the top position. So I'd, you can do that by cutting the deck and doing a riffle false, if you like, or I quite like the old stop false, so you just cut until they call stop, uh, and then call attention here. Uh, and then you're gonna do a triple lift. So you say you wanted to stop right here, and you do a triple turnover to show the false card, which is the Jack of Diamonds, and you've got the other jacks underneath it. As you show the Jack of Diamonds around, we're gonna reverse, uh, yeah, we're basically gonna reverse it. So what happens is, if I turn so you can see what happens, I bring the packet up to my body, and I flip this over, and these cards are concealed because I'm showing you them like this, from this position. All right, so I show the selection, I put it over those, then lower it back into view. You now pick up the rest of the packet, drop them on top, and keep a break as you square up, and then cut or double cut to that break, so you've brought your whole set up to the top. All right, so you've got their selection, and then the two jacks face up underneath on top of the deck. Uh, you've got all the time in the world to secure a break underneath those as you turn over the prediction cards and spread them out. Uh, now, this is a Stephen Tucker uh, bit, and I absolutely love it. It's awesome. So you say, I think you'll agree that reveals the card, and of course they say, what? I don't get it. You say, well, it spells Jack. It couldn't be clearer. You know, J-A-K spells Jack, and there's a heart, a club, and a spade, uh, but no diamonds. So that means you must have picked the Jack of Diamonds. Uh, so that all kind of makes sense in a, ra in a roundabout sort of a way. Uh, and once they agree with that, you pick up the king and the ace, on top of the deck. Remember, you've still got your break under the jacks as well. And you flip all five cards face down. And then you're going to lift up on three cards. Now, there's a natural break there because of the reversed one. So you can just lift up. But um, don't worry about taking a second to do it because it would be quite complicated anyway. Uh, so say you'll use uh, the jack of hearts to do something. And just peel the top card into your left hand. So this is a double here, but that's just held together as a double. The jack of hearts goes in the middle. You square up. Click your fingers, and then we're going to do a mini Escanio spread. Holding the packet in biddle grip, you remove the bottom card with your fingers and the top card with your thumb, and that brings the correct jack into view, which is the jack of diamonds that has the other jack hidden behind it. This goes on top of the packet, and then you have a lovely finish, uh, courtesy of the lawyer Simonoff move, where basically what happens is my right hand comes in and grabs the two cards above the break, lifts them up, and spreads them out as my left hand does the same with its two. So it's kind of like a half pass thing and it, it all comes together like this. Here's the Jack of Diamonds. I give it a little click and they all change to Jacks. Really lovely move and a really lovely trick. So thanks very much to Jack. I think you'll agree uh, that's a killer trick and he's done a really good job even though he is ginger. Hey, hello. Thank you very much. Can you help me unwrap it? Help me unwrap it?
There we go. Give that a pull. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, excellent. Oh, what is it? Oh, oh, it's a book. It's a book. Liam goes poo in the toilet. Oh, wow, that's awesome. How did you know? <laughs> that's a fabulous present. <laughs>